Dear friends, welcome to MCB Chem Tube Online Chemistry Tutorial. In next few lecture series, I will be discussing with you a very important topic in organic chemistry, halogen compound. In this particular lecture, I will be discussing with you a basic introduction of all organic compound and its nomenclature and method of preparation. As you know, halogen substituted organic compound widespread throughout the nature. Around 5000 organohalate have been found in algae and in various other micro marine organisms. Also, halogen compound found many applications in various types of industries. For example, trichloroethylene can be used as a solvent. Haloethene is an inhaled anesthetic and dichloro difluoromethane can be used as a refrigerant and bromomethane can be used as a fumigate and many halides widely used in pesticides can widely used in pesticide application one example is ddt ddt is dichloro chlorobenzene and trichloroethane now let us see what is the structure of halo compounds and in alkyl halide, halogen attached to NSP3 hybridized carbon atom. Hence, the shape will be tetrahedral. And halogen atom is more electronegative than carbon. You can see here, this is more electronegative than carbon. So, the carbon halogen bond is polarized. What about the charge? of carbon and halogen. Carbon get partial positive charge and halogen get partial negative charge. Why? Because halogen is more electronegative. And one example is methyl fluoride. You can see here an electrostatic potential diagram of computer simulated diagram of methyl fluoride here. The red part me uh, this fluoride is shown as red here that means there is a more charge density on this part and the blue region means it is less charge so carbon hydrogen part is having less charge this fluorine is having more charge Next, we will discuss the classification of halo compounds. Alkyl halide can be classified into, uh, halo compound can be classified into three types mainly. One is alkyl halide, another one is vinyl halide, third one, aryl halide. So, alkyl halide, in alkyl halide, halogen attached to sp3 hybridized carbon atom for example chloroform freon 11 trichloroethane vinyl halide halogen is attached to sp2 hybridized carbon atom of alkene okay then example is vinyl chloride and tetrafluoroethylene tfe Third one, aryl halide. That is halogen attached to sp2 hybridized to carbon atom of aromatic compound. For example, chlorobenzene and para trichlorobenzene. And this, uh, there is another type of classification. Tri primary alkyl halide. Alkyl halide can be classified into primary, secondary, and tertiary. 
So what is mean by primary halides? In primary alkyl halide, carbon bearing halogen, that is this one, this carbon, is attached to only one carbon. This is the example. Ethyl chloride. This is a primary alkyl chloride. Next one, secondary. So in secondary, carbon bearing halogen, this is attached to two carbon, that is one, two. So this is an example for secondary halide, isopropyl chloride. And tertiary, carbon bearing halogen is attached to three carbon atom, one, two, three. So this is tertiary butyl halide. Next we will see what is the nomenclature uh, there are two types, IOPSC nomenclature and common name. First, let us discuss the, what are the rules for IOPSC nomenclature. And first, you have to consider the parent chain. What is the parent chain? Parent chain is the longest chain. Okay. Suppose you have a double bond or triple bond present in the compound the parent chain must contain it. So we have to cover double or triple part in parent chain. Next one, numbering. So we have to number the carbon of parent chain. We should start the numbering in such a way that should be nearer to the first substituent. Okay, let us consider this example. Here you have substituent at second carbon here you have substituent for and at third carbon so you you have to start numbering from this end so what would be the name of this compound and this will be we have to there are three substituent two methyl substituents are there and one bromo substituent so we should give preference for bromine that is alphabet. So for this will be 5 bromo 2 4 time in the heptane. Okay, next one, this comma. So we should start, this would be the parent chain, this will be the parent chain. We should start numbering from this end. And there are two substituent, one is chlorine, another one is methane. So we should prefer first we have to write three chloro. So before that one promo, three chloro, four methane, and eight. Okay. Next one. <clears throat> if a parent chain can be properly numbered from either end, so we should begin at the end nearer to the substrand that has alphabetical person. What is that? So now let us see this example. If you start numbering from this end, substituent get two here. From this end, the substituent get number two. So where do we start? So in such a situation, we have to give preference for alphabet. So you have to start numbering from this end. We have to consider this alphabet. So, what is the name of this compound? 2 promo 5 methyl hexane, not 5 promo 2 methyl hexane. Okay, so that's about nomenclature. Next one, common name. Common name, uh, for example, this is the IUPAC name 2 promo butane. This, this is 2 promo butane. So common name of this compound is secondary butyl bromate. And second one, this is chloroethene. But common name is, this is known as, as vinyl chloride. Third one, this is 1, 2, 3, 3 chloropropene. But this is known as allyl chloride. And fourth one, this is 2-chloropropane, but this is 
known as common name of this compound is isopropyl chloride. Okay, next next we will discuss preparation of al alkyl halide. There are many methods for preparation of alkyl halide. You can prepare alkyl halide from hydrocarbon and from alkene, from alkyne. Here we are going to discuss how can you prepare alkyl halide from alcohol. So you need to convert an alcohol into an alkyl halide. For that, so here OH group is a very poor leaving group because it is a very strong base. So what do you need to do is you have to convert OH into a weak base to get this halide. So you need to substitute this OH. So you need to convert OH into a weak base. There are many reagents for that purpose. Three important and commonly used reagents are hydrogen halides, phosphorus trichromate, and thionyl chloride. Let's see example for that reaction. First one, <coughs> tertiary butanol. This tertiary alcohol you can convert into tertiary halide by using hydrogen halides. Next example. In this three example, you can see that here primary alcohol we are using in all three examples primary alcohol. To convert primary alcohol and secondary alcohol, best reagent is actually PBr3 and thionyl chloride. But HBr can also be used, but this cannot be used in all cases. So in this particular example, butanol, you can use HBr. You get butyl bromate with the G8. And for this compound, by treating with phosphorus strength from it, you get corresponding bromo compound. And third one, you can convert it into halide by using thionyl chloride. Byproducts are sulfur dioxide is a gas. Now let's consider first case reaction uh, preparation of alkyl halide by using hydrogen halide <clears throat> and here the order of reactivity of alcohol is tertiary is more reactive than secondary which is more reactive than primary and the order of reactivity of hydrogen halide is HA is more reactive than HBr which is more reactive than HCl and HF is least reactive. For example, one methyl cyclohexanol tertiary alcohol in presence of HCl gas it get instead of alcohol you get chlorine corresponding chlorine that is one chloro one methyl cyclohexane with excellent yield. Now let us consider the mechanism of this reaction and uh, <coughs> this tertiary alcohol get protonated first and it form hydronium ion. It is a fast reaction and uh, this oxygen can act as a nucleophile and this aqueous acid, this is highly electrophilic and this oxygen get uh, accept proton from this aqueous acid and it forms this intermediate and this intermediate immediately uh, depart this water and it forms a carbocation structure it is a highly stable intermediate with the formation of water and in next step uh, this chlorine can act as a nucleophile this chlorine attack this electrophilic center it is a very fast reaction and it form alkyl halide okay and this is in the case it follows this old reaction mechanism follows uh, sn1 mechanism that is substitution nucleophilic unimolecular 
This is usually occurs in the case of tertiary alkyl alcohol. And it is not necessary to follow the same reaction mechanism in all cases. And in the case of primary alcohol and methanol, it follows another mechanism that is SN2 substitution nucleophilic bimolecular. And primary alcohol, it get protonated to form this intermediate and it undergo an SN2 substitution. There is no formation of carbocation here. Okay, here the halide get substituted directly this hydronium and it forms an alkyl halide. Then water can, is a very good leaving group. So it follows SN2 substitution. Okay, oh, one question for you. Propose a mechanism for the formation of this compound out of this alcohol. Here you can see that here OH is not directly substituted by bromine. Here bromine is at here and the same two carbons are in the product. So guess what would be the changes of course. So far we have seen OH is directly substituting by halogen. So you write, try to write the mechanism of this reaction after posing this presentation. Anyway, I will give the mechanism. So this is our study material alcohol. This get protonated first, it become hydronium. Okay. Then dehydration occurs, it form a carbocation. A real twist occurs here. Here, this is a secondary carbocation. It can undergo a rearrangement, usually by two way. One is one to hydrate shift, and another one is one to alkyl shift. Here, there is an hydrogen for shifting. So one usually it prefer hydrate shift. So it form at this hydrate that is H minus shifted towards this carbon atom. Why it is doing like that? Because it form a tertiary carbocation. So when you compare the stability of secondary and tertiary, tertiary carbocation is more stable. So in order to stabilize that intermediate, it immediately rearranged to form a more stabilized carbocation. Then nucleophile, attack at this electrophilic center it form bromine get attack here that is why you are getting this product okay so i have put you understood the mechanism now you have two questions here here this compound on treating with hydrogen bromide you get corresponding product this product here you can see here OH is not directly substituted but there is a one change also here one methyl is shifting towards this carbon atom. I hope you understand the what is the mechanism. Try to do that, uh, write that mechanism. Second question is when 3 methyl butane 2 all is treated with concentrated C HBr, the major product is 2 bromo 2 methyl butane. You propose a mechanism for the formation of this product. In this case, you can first write down the structure of reactant and product and see what are the changes of here. Next reaction preparation of alkyl halide by using phosphorus tribromate. You know, phosphorus tribromate and thionyl chloride, these two reagents are used for synthesizing mainly primary and secondary alkyl bromides. So, primary or secondary alcohol with PBR3, you get alkyl halide. One example, neopentyl alcohol with phosphorus tribromate, you get neopentyl bromate. 
Second example, cyclopentanol with a phosphorus tripromate, you get a corresponding bromide with excellent yield. Now let us see the mechanism of this reaction. So what happens to uh, uh, alcohol can act as a nucleophile, of course, this oxygen and phosphorus is an electron deficient center, so it can act as an electrophilic center. So this nucleophile attack this phosphorus and it kick off one of its bromine as a bromide anion and it form you can see here RCH2OH here a protonated alkyl dipromophosphate here you can see PBR2 and next one this group is a very good living group this one so this bromine can attack this one this carbon and get this living group get substituted finally it form alkyl bromide with the elimination of this molecule so here hopbr2 can react with two more moles of alcohol so that net result is the conversion of three moles of alcohol to alkyl bromide even by a one mole of phosphorus tribromate and third case preparation of alkyl halide by using thionyl chloride as i discussed already with you thionyl chloride is also can act as a reagent for synthesizing mainly for primary and secondary alkyl halide this is the general scheme alcohol with thionyl chloride it give alkyl halide and one example one uh, another ex one example is benzoin with thionyl chloride you get this product with 86 percentage yield and our octanol here OH get substituted okay from our two chloro octane with excellent yield now let us discuss the mechanism of this formation of alkyl halide okay alcohol first this oxygen can act as a nucleophile and of course the sulfur can act it's an electrophilic center this nucleophile attack this sulfur and double bond or this double bond break and transfer is two electron towards this oxygen and it form an intermediate structure like this then actually this oxygen started to form a double bond here by eliminating chlorine chlorine can act as a very good leaving group and pyridine in the system can grab this proton and it form r o s o c l it become pyridinium okay then this compound on treating with pyridine and it can replace one more chlorine from here and it form pyridinium okay and this group can act as an excellent living group and chlorine anion can act as a nucleophile this can attack this uh, electrophilic center the alkyl group and it can kick off this living group and it form rcl like this and here this oxygen get two electrons and all other bond will be uh, it will be kept as it and finally this oxygen started to form a double bond by eliminating this peridinium and you have one question starting with alcohol outline a synthesis of each of the following how to prepare first case benzyl bromate starting with alcohol which method and which reagent would you prefer next one cyclohexyl chloride and third one butyl bromate and in summary uh, this is the table telling about the 
best reagent for converting alcohol into alkyl halide. If you are using primary alcohol and if you want to get chloride, best one is th using thionyl chloride. If, if you want bromate, you can use phosphorus tribromate and iodide and phosphorus and red phosphorus and iodine. And secondary, best one for chloride is thionyl chloride for bromate and phosphorus tribromate and phosphorus and iodine. And for primary and secondary, these are the best reagent for converting into alkyl halide. And remember, for tertiary, you what better to use hydrogen chloride for chloride and to get bromide HBr to get added HA. Okay, that's all about my topic. This uh, first part I have finished. And thank you for watching.